Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Some of you mentioned in the comments underneath the videos that you are waiting for this JBL radio unit right, to arrive same way I was impatiently waiting. So hopefully the right unit arrived and we can install it together in this 2005 Toyota Sequoia and there is a packing slip including the prices so I can tell you that all together with shipping I paid for this 6 CD changer $82.34 buying it off eBay of course this is a used unit I cannot imagine how much this will be brand new right and if it's even if you can even still buy it it's a JBL unit right but I don't want to be wasting your time cutting the wrap so I might just speed it up and voila there is brand new to me I know I said it's a use but brand new to me this unit what I liked about this one because there were many on the eBay for sale right I like this one first of all see there is still that sticker here that person didn't take it off right because it's a 6 CD changer it was such a sticker which Toyota was putting on those players on the faceplate in the pictures it looked absolutely clean right not from some salvage vehicle it was the seller was the owner of the vehicle and he was saying he just was changing it to the aftermarket and that's the reason why he's selling this one all these details right were the decision maker for me to buy this one and not the other ones try to show you all the details right or the numbers and so on for you to see how looks CD changer for 2005 Toyota Sequoia or Toyota Tundra so first immediately I see this little screw it's missing one of the four but it's okay that's not big deal the problem might be that it's missing the bracket on both sides are brackets mount in brackets and they should be used to install it so we will see how much of problem this will be for me but so far I'm loving it because it's incredible how this unit is clean and in nice condition now I transferred to the truck some inside right I put a light here for us so we can together see how you will install it probably the best first thing is to remove that entire panel now how you do that I don't have them here but there are two screws it's a Phillips screwdriver and one of them is here and one of them is here so you will remove those screws and after that you will be allowed simply grab this whole panel which I can do right and you pull it towards the back of the vehicle and look it nicely actually comes off right there is enough space on the wiring harness to gently put it down here without scratching it or damaging anything and here is the adapter which previous owner installed here for, for the disgusting radio which was here when I bought this Sequoia so let's remove that I'm assuming it's 10 millimeters right sure enough very easy I don't want to drop those bolts could be a really pain in ass getting it out of down there excuse my head and one more and here we go this is a adapter right which somebody installed it there for the aftermarket radio 
And now I will really find out that unfortunately I'm missing those side brackets, the steel brackets, which are for a purpose of installing that original 6 CD changer, right? Two bolts here and two bolts here. Let's see what we can do about it. I will have to either create my own, I can probably make them, right? Bend some steel, sheet metal steel, or I can go and call tomorrow. Right now it's too late, I can call the dealer. But I'm pretty sure you can wait to see, like me, if this entire unit works, right? So look, again, the wires are pretty long which makes this install easier. So there are two different antennas right here. One of them is larger, one of them is smaller, right? So that's easy. I have that. And now I have on the back, which you already saw when I was rotating it for you, I have three connectors. So let's put this one. Nice click. That's wonderful. And let's just keep that wiring nicely in order. And this one will be which way? It goes upside down for me. So these are basically all the wires, right? Some of them will be going down to the JBL amplifier, which is down that click nicely, right? The amplifier, it's down here. You saw it in different videos. Video, excuse me. And let's just see if this will let me to put it in just temporarily and fire it up and we will see if I did a good job installing the amplifier which is down here and if this radio will communicate cross fingers so here comes the key right in the on position well, let's see if I will be able to put this on can you believe this this is absolutely wonderful let me shut off or lower this thing let's put it off completely this is absolutely wonderful I'm super excited I can hear some of the speakers which are here in the vehicle right which I didn't remove like here the tweeters in the doors or the rear doors they are definitely being powered through that amplifier so that nightmare which I showed you in different videos right there was all these cut wires it was absolutely this sequoia was almost I will say vandalized right this nightmare all the time I took extra time that paid off and I have new machine here this is wonderful let's see if it will seek any stations oh yeah not enough of them were actually being screened in which yeah, means they were good. not having Audio somebody controls, come out to do an investigation right <clears throat> so it's going nowhere it was Base. going nowhere in fact, um, minus some of the travels. data that we have oh, yeah. nicely reacts. This is wonderfully is, um, working. Really Let's see if the owner forgot any CDs inside. So many times you buy a car, right? And there are CDs left in the CD player and so on. So that's interesting. The radio is still playing. And oh, that was a load. I made a mistake no disc okay so while the radio keeps playing you can push the eject but it says no disc if you want to load one it will get ready and then tell you let's put the CD in 
I have the Subaru here from the France, right? And I went to see if there is any CD. Look what I have found. If you are a younger viewer of this channel, you might not even know what it is. Wow, let's see if it will work. Tape. I will lower the volume. I don't want to lose the monetization feature from the YouTube. It's because I'm playing some music here. Oh, it's playing. This is wonderful. And again, eject. Yep. The tape is working. This is absolutely awesome. And of course, some of you might say, what you are you doing? Why are you going back in the time, right? It's like everything it's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, right? Today everybody plays music from the phone or something. I just wanted to fix up this Sequoia to put her in original shape. She's a great truck. She always starts, runs perfectly, no leaks, right? I feel she deserves to be fixed up and just put to the original. And I definitely still have CDs and I play CDs normally. So that's the reason. Unfortunately I didn't find any CDs to show you how it works but I will test it later. I'm curious if this whole faceplate or this unit could center this radio so I will try carefully put it in and see if it will fit underneath it. Actually look at that, it fitted behind that plastic trim nicely, right? It fits there beautifully and I think it's a really good match. I will still, of course, because it has a movement, I will still go and contact the Toyota dealer and hopefully will be able to buy those brackets. So I'm happy that the previous owner described it correctly and it's nicely working and it's super clean. Thank you guys for watching and be subscribe. I have way more videos about the Toyota Tech coming your way soon. See you later.